Welcome to our webinar today. We are looking at five best ways to turn new neighbors into new members. And so we're really going to be focused on what does it look like for you to be connecting with new people who are moving into your community and helping them uh, integrate into the life of your church. So super excited. I'm Jason Day here from Outreach. Um, you guys get to see me a lot of times on these webinars. Hope you're not tired of me, but I'm excited to be with you. And I have with me today, Matthew Sisson. He's one of our dedicated outreach specialists. So pastors, um, as you and your team, when they call in or you jump on chat with someone, Matthew is one of those team members that's working directly with the churches. So uh, super excited to have Matthew with us. We're gonna dig into some really cool things. We have some, some new things that we're just rolling out. You guys are gonna get the opportunity to hear about some of these new tools, new resources, some improvements that we've made to some of our, our tools to help you as you're connecting with your community. And, and remember, it's all about building bridges, right? Outreach is all about how do we as pastors in our churches build bridges into our communities so that we can connect with people, so we can build relationships, because ultimately the goal of all that we do is to make disciples, right? That's what Jesus has called us to do. And so as churches, we want to make disciples. In order to make disciples, you need to build relationships with people. And in order to build relationships with people, you need to connect with them. You need to build those bridges. So we're gonna be focusing in on these five best ways to really turn those new neighbors in your community into new members. And so we're gonna dive right in. I want you guys to hang out till the end though, because we have some free things to offer you like we always do. Um, I'm also gonna be giving away some free um, gift cards to get some coffee for you. So uh, we'll have some questions that you guys can engage in and interact in. Right now, if you are with us, if you could, um, just remember that this webinar is gonna be recorded. And so you will receive a link via email to this webinar. So if you wanna go back through it and pause it and slow it down, or if you wanna show it to some of your team members, share it with some of uh, the ministry leaders at your church, you can do that as well. So be looking for that email this week uh, from Outreach. It will have that link to this webinar in it. Also, we do have time for Q&A in, in this webinar. So if, as Matthew and I are sharing, if there are questions that come up, um, feel free, uh, either the bottom or the top of your screen, uh, you'll have a little Q&A button. You can just click that, you can enter in your question, and we'll get to as many of those questions as absolutely possible at, um, near, near the close of the webinar. We'll, we'll carve out some time for questions and answers. Uh, but right now, if you are online, if you can just uh, type in, let us know where you are from. Where is your church? Where are you from? We always like to know where people are participating from. And uh, welcome. So let's just dive right in to these five best ways to turn new neighbors into new members. So the very first one is build the bridge. I was just explaining that the way that we reach people, um, the way that we build those relationships, the way that we make disciples ultimately, is by building those bridges into the community. And what's interesting is uh, studies show that there are five times when people are most open to church, uh, to, to visiting a church, maybe for the first time, or maybe for a first time in a long time in their lives. And so th these five different ways, one is moving. So when someone moves, um, they're open. Marriage, uh, when they have children, uh, divorce, or a death in the family. Uh, so these are the five main times when people actually uh, are open or the most open rather, to, to engage with the church or visit a church. Now, what's interesting, just this past week, I was reading a report and um, about moving, about people moving and what it looks like uh, here in the US especially, and just some different statistics and those types of things. And what's interesting as I was looking at this list of the five times when people are most open to church, um, what's fascinating is moving is one of them, but marriage, children, divorce, and death, those are all for contributing factors to people moving. So in other words, a lot of people move because they've gotten married or because they have children, so they need a, a bigger home or a divorce, you know, separation in the family, so people move or a death in the family, right? So what's fascinating is these are the five times when people are most likely uh, to contact a church or to visit a church. And really all of these, um, 
are impacted or impact this idea of moving. And so we really want to focus in on this idea of the fact that there are people that are moving into your neighborhood and you as a church have an opportunity to reach out to them. So why new movers? Why is this important? Well, one, as I just shared, um, all these different times in people's lives when they're most open to visiting a church, oftentimes include a move within that. Whether they're straight up moving or it's a marriage or having children, whatever it is, oftentimes move is, is associated. Around 100,000 people move here in the U.S. every single day, which is just crazy to think that that many people are moving. So if that many people are moving in the U.S., then you know that within your community, your city, your neighborhood, there are people who are moving in. Um, as we mentioned, people, when they move, oftentimes they're more open to building relationships because it's a new place for them, right? They're, they're not connected, and so they're looking for those types of connections. Um, people are more open to trying something new because they're in a new community. They're in a new town, a new city, and so they're looking for something new to do, and they're open to that because it's, this is a new season in life for them, so they're much more open to trying something new. Uh, statistics show that between 10 and 50% of those people who have moved are looking for a new church. So these are people that um, have some sort of church background, maybe they were active in a church where they lived before, and so they're in a new neighborhood, they're in a new city, they're looking for a place to connect. And so this uh, is a great opportunity for you as a church to make that connection, be proactive in making that connection with them. And then uh, new movers are more likely to re read and respond to direct mail within the first few months. So if you've ever moved, I know this is true for me, you move into a new city, a new community, um, as direct mail is coming through your, your mailbox, um, you're trying to learn about your city. So you're trying to figure out where's the best pizza place or you know what it might be. So you're kind of looking at direct mail a little more regularly. And so that is a, a key opportunity for us as churches to really, really connect. So you're looking at this whole idea of building a bridge. The second, um, the second thing we want to look at is this idea of direct works for new neighbors. And when we say direct, we're talking about direct mail. So direct mail is actually the simplest and most effective way to reach new movers in your community. It is, it is, it is one of these things that you can do as a church that you can set up and it's very, very simple and it's very, very effective. It's effective for many of the reasons we just talked about when it comes to building bridges. Um, postcards are something that are tangible, they're seen, and they make an impression. Uh, studies indicate that direct mail has a 600% higher, um, higher response rate than digital, which is just crazy. Now, digital, we love digital here at Outreach, and we help a lot of churches do digital, but there's something, something important about direct mail. Um, the impact that it has. And so much research, so many studies show that that tangible piece um, is, is key and is important and has a, a huge impact. Also, incidentally, direct mail helps build trust. Um, we, we all get bombarded on digital from a variety of different um, companies and places and all kinds of things. And we don't always know if, if what we're getting across uh, through social media or online digitally uh, we really don't know what's behind it. You know, it could be, a, could be a, something that just popped up yesterday, right? Whereas when someone receives a direct mail piece, studies show that they, it automatically builds more trust because they feel as if it is uh, an established organization. So that can help build that trust with your church. Direct mail is the only way to reach every home in your neighborhood, every home that is closest to your church. And if you think about it, those people who are closest to your church are those that are most likely to come and attend your church, right? So, um, and, and this is fascinating. I've had tons of conversations with pastors across the country, um, different trainings that I've done. And uh, lots of times, and, and you probably run into this as well at your church, um, I know that we've run into this over the years, where you have homes within your immediate area, you know, where, where you'd really like to reach people that maybe the homes are in a gated community, right? So you really can't, you really can't get in there personally. Um, or apartment buildings, lots of apartment buildings, they do not let you come into the apartment building and really visit, right? Um, so with direct mail, you can get, um, you can bypass those gates, right? You can bypass those gatekeepers and get to every single household. So this is huge. Um, it's another thing you can't do on digital, although digital you can really, really target. And again, we love digital. We encourage you to do that. But with direct mail as a way for you to get 
to all of those homes that are closest to your neighborhood. And, and when you're thinking about people who are moving into the community, those new families, um, they're probably looking for a church that is somewhat near where, where they've decided to, you know, to move. So it's one of those cool things. And then what I love about this whole, whole idea is that it really helps you naturally create a new ministry. And we'll talk a little more about that. But uh, direct mail pieces to um, new people in your community really helps you, helps you launch a whole new ministry in your church very, very simply. And I absolutely love it because my heartbeat is all about, you know, connecting with our community, reaching new people. And so you'll see how you can do that here in just a, a few minutes. So uh, direct really, really works for new neighbors. This is pretty fascinating. The average giving in churches is about $1,000 um, over the course of a year. So annual giving uh, is about $1,000 for, uh, for each person in your church. So church with attendance of, of 100, you're looking at about a $100,000 budget, you know, coming into the church through tithing. If you're a church of 1,000, you're looking at about a million dollars coming through the doors. And so th these are just kind of the, the general statistics here uh, in US. Um, the average new mover subscription costs $948 per year. So $79 per month, it's, it's very economical. Um, that gets you about 100 cards, nonprofit postage mailed in. So if you have 100 new families in your area, then they'll receive an invitation to your church. So if you look at that, if you have just one person, one person through over the course of an entire year, through your new mover um, program, through direct mail going to these uh, new families or new individuals in your community, just one person coming and engaging in your church and becoming a part of the life of your church will cover the investment for the entire year. So this is one of those things where for us here at Outreach, stewardship is, is super important, um, how we operate as a whole and our heartbeat for, for pastors. That's what, that's what we're all about is equipping pastors, equipping local churches. And so for us, stewardship is important, not only for us internally, but it's important in everything that we do externally because it's all about churches and we wanna help you be good stewards. So direct mail, super powerful. Uh, the third thing that we really suggest, this is a really important way to uh, turn these new neighbors into new members, is to keep it personal. You want to personally um, engage with these new families when they move into your community. And, and this is super, super cool. What we're able to, to help churches do all across the country is help them send these invitations to new families and these invitations are personalized. And it's, it's automated, completely automated for you. So as you can see on, on the screen, if you see the image, it shows that this, this uh, postcard that's going out to the new family, it actually can have the family's name on it. So Smith family, or it can have the, the person's name. On the flip side of the card, even has, you know, hello Jim, or hello James, hello Matthew, right? Uh, whomever, or hello Smith family. Uh, so it, it really personalizes it, which is super key and super important. So it looks and makes them feel as if you are interested in them as a family or as an individual. So this, this idea of keeping it personal is super important when it comes to you connecting with new people in your community. Um, remember, as we said in the very beginning, this is all about building relationships, right? It's all about helping people become disciples of Jesus Christ. And we do that by building those relationships. So as we keep it personal, we are helping to uh, build those relationships initially, right from the get-go, right from the very first contact from your church to this new family in, in your town. So also personalization, studies show that um, personalized uh, invitations, personalized messaging um, increases response rates 200%. So uh, that's, that's pretty huge. And so again, we're doing everything we can at Outreach to help you as a local church to connect with more people. So we think this is valuable and important because it has such a high impact on increasing that response rate. Um, the two second rule in direct mail. Um, I'm guilty of this, probably we all are. Mo many of us go through our mail over the trash can, right? So it's one of those things where you just kind of take a peek and uh, you, you decide very, very quickly whether it's something you want to read uh, more and get more into. So the idea of that being personalized, someone sees their name on it, that automatically slows someone down and uh, they just take a little more time to look into it, especially when it's a professionally designed uh, invitation, postcard invitation, and it has their name on it. Um, that kind of slows them down, super cool. So it helps overcome that two second uh, rule in direct mail and makes them, you know, helps them spend a little more time on that particular 
invitation. Um, people tend to hold on to them longer as well. I love, so I can't, we've had so many different stories. In fact, I was doing a training just a couple weeks ago um, with a bunch of new church planters. And one of their coaches, who was a church planter himself, planted about five years ago, um, we were talking about direct mail and you know building these bridges into the community through direct mail. And he shared a story of a, a couple who came to his church. Um, they, they did direct mail whenever they launched their church and they continued to do direct mail um, periodically throughout the year to continue to build those relationships. He had a couple come into his church a couple years after they launched and um, they brought the postcard in with them. It was literally in their hand. And he was surprised because the postcard they brought in was not the most recent postcard they'd sent to their community. It was one they sent over a year ago, but these people had received it, they held on to it, and uh, kept it on the refrigerator, they told him, and brought it in. So people hold on to uh, these cards, especially if they're personalized. There's, there's something about that where people tend to hold on to them longer. And then it really makes an impression about your church, right? Remember, this is, uh, could very well be the very first contact that you have with this family. And so it makes an impression about your church that you are interested in them as individuals or interested in them as a specific family, not just kind of a blanket approach, but you've taken the time to address it to them personally. And, and that means something. And it helps them understand a little bit more about the heartbeat of your church. So um, keeping it personal is absolutely huge. Uh, here are just some examples on the slide of some different ways that the actual postcards, these are just a, a few of the designs that we have for you. And you can see right on there where the last name of the person would kind of plug right in um, or their first name would plug right in on the flip side, on the back of the, the invitation. And again, this is all completely automated for you. You don't, have to, you don't have to think or worry or plug in those names yourselves. It's completely taken care of. So super cool things, great designs, but again, keeping it personal. Now, I know I told you we're gonna give you five best ways to turn your neighbors into new members, um, but I, of course, slipped in a little bonus tip. Um, so I've got a 3.5 here for you guys. And since we are talking personal, I wanna let you know that although we have amazing designers here at Outreach and we have a bunch of really, really cool designs that you can use um, and just use kind of just right off the shelf that we can provide for you as part of the new mover program. Um, you can also, if you want, have a completely custom design just for your church. And here are a few examples there, Gateway Community Church. Um, so there are a few examples here where you can see how a church said, you know what, we would like to provide a design and have it customized. Um, so that's just what we, you know, the messaging that we want to have. Um, and, and you can do that. So that's just kind of a bonus. We, we make that available to you guys and you can talk to an outreach specialist like Matthew and learn more about how you can have an absolute custom design just for your church. So we're talking about keeping it personal, a custom design specifically for your church definitely personalizes it as well. Um, the fourth best way to turn new neighbors into new uh, members at your church is by providing a gift. And there are lots of different things you can do to provide a gift, but uh, churches that are uh, reaching new people in their community regularly, um, all of them who are doing it most effectively all talk about the fact that they are um, sharing a gift with people that they've invited into the church. And so it's, it's, a, it's a really important thing to think about. And like I said, there are a variety of different ways you can do this. Um, what, one easy way is if someone brings in their invitation, uh, you give them a free coffee gift card, right? So, and you have that on the postcard itself. So when they bring it in, they see, oh, there's a free gift. They come visit your church. You welcome them. You meet them at, at you know, a, a guest, guest central or, or whatever you have in your foyer or lobby uh, following the, the worship gathering. You get to know them and they share the postcard with you. You give them the, the gift card for coffee um, or it could be a little book or a t-shirt or a you know, what, whatever it might be. But just think, um, giving them a gift, sharing a gift with them and having that in that invitation so they know, hey, whenever you come, we have a gift for you that um, is super, super helpful. 
And then the fifth one we want to jump into is this whole idea of following up with your new neighbors. I know Matthew um, has a lot of great ideas because he works directly with a lot of churches in doing this. So I'm just going to run through a few of these bullet points and then I'm just going to toss it over to you, Matthew, to kind of walk us through some of the things that you see churches doing that are really effective. But one of the cool things is that you can enter the contact info into your church database. So one of the cool things is uh, whenever we are helping you through our new mover program, um, send these invitations out automatically to people who have moved into your community. Um, we also provide you with uh, an entire list uh, of all the contact information for these families. And so uh, you can take those and you can enter them into your church database so that whenever you're doing other mailings or you're doing other things, reaching out to the community, you can connect with them. And we really, really recommend every church to, to do that, right? To take advantage of that. That is something that we provide for you. And we provide it because we're here for you. We're encouraging you. We want you to get out there and get connected with your community. So um, first thing you want to do is get all that contact info into your church database. Uh, and then you can send them a follow-up letter from the church. You know, it's a great idea, obviously. You've got their contact info. They've already received a postcard. Um, whether they've come to your church or not, send them a letter just saying, hey, we just want to welcome you again to the neighborhood. You know, let them know a little bit about your, who you are as a church. Uh, help them to get a little feel for your DNA. Encourage them to go check out your website or your Facebook page or Instagram feed, whatever it might be, right? So send a letter out or a personalized note from the pastor. Uh, the pastor, every month, whenever you receive this list, he can just sit down, carve out some time as pastors. Uh, we can carve out a little bit of time and just pen a personal note welcoming that individual or that family to your community. So super cool. You can send a gift if you want to toss a little something in there. Um, you can send a gift out to them. I know some pastors, maybe your church has a, a weekly meal, like midweek, sometimes midweek uh, worship gathering or youth ministry stuff or whatever it is. Maybe you have a meal at your church and you could just send them a little coupon and say, hey, dinner's on us, you know, any Wednesday this month or whatever it is. So just think about how you can send something of value. Uh, you can even deliver a gift in person. And this is a little bit about what we were referring to early on about this kind of instantly helps create a, a new ministry for your church to launch, right? So um, you, can, you can get a team together who their whole thing is, listen, these are new families in our community. Let's bless them. Let's connect with them. Let's reach them. And so you can have a team who maybe goes out and visits some of these, these homes. You know, if you guys are comfortable doing that um, in your community, going out, visiting those, those homes and just welcoming them. Uh, door hangers um, and engagers. Those of you who've been with, with Outreach for a while, you know uh, probably a little bit about our engagers, but I'll talk a little bit about that. So um, these, are, these are door hangers that you can have printed up, can print up with information about your church, and you can have a team who just goes out into your community, and with that list of all the new movers, you can go and hang a door hanger on every, every door handle that's on that list, right? And you can include an engager which um, is just a really cool way to enter into a spiritual conversation or help them get to know more about um, a relationship with Jesus Christ. And you can have them customized with your church's information on the back. Just a really cool way, and again, just a ministry you can launch for follow-up to reach out to these new families because these are new families that are in your neighborhood. Um, this is really kind of a no-brainer, guys, because these are people who are looking oftentimes for a place to plug in, a place to get connected, a way to build relationships. And oftentimes they are in these periods of life where um, life has changed. It's a new season for them, obviously, because they've moved, but uh, there could be lots of other reasons as to why they moved, which, which really opens the door for you to connect with them. So take advantage of reaching out to them. You can send invitations to them about upcoming events. So if you're doing a you know, movie at the park or you're doing some sort of a, a kid's event, right? Or a youth event or a marriage retreat, whatever it might be. You can send invitations to that list. You own the list now. Those are your, those are your contacts. They're new families, new people in your community. Send invitations out to them. And then also, I think one of the cool things, this is something we always want to remember, is um, you can really use that information with your prayer teams at your church. So, I mean, how cool is it that every month have a new list of new families who've moved into your, your neighborhood for your prayer team to just pray through by name, each family by name, and uh, really just bathe them in prayer and, and pray for uh, God to open doors for relationships, pray for that family as they're making that transition. I mean, that's just a cool, I mean, this is just like some cool stuff that we provide for you. It's all kind of like bonus stuff through the program that you guys can use 
to really launch an entirely new ministry, which you guys who know me know I'm super excited about that. You can launch an entire new ministry that is really helping to mobilize your people, help them thinking about the Great Commission. What does it mean for us to be building those bridges into the community? So Matthew, I've talked a lot, which I always do. And, um, but now I wanna kinda of toss it over to you as we're kinda of talking about this whole idea of following up and share with us a little bit about some of the cool things that you've seen churches doing, um, some, some kind of specific things. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my name's Matthew. As uh, Jason has said before, I'm actually one of the dedicated outreach specialists here. Just real quick, before I started here, I actually was working at a church and I oversaw a lot of the outreach projects with the church. And we actually had partnered with Outreach to do New Mover Program. Um, but two of the reasons why I joined Outreach was for specifically Back to Church, which is like that door hanger that uh, Jason was showing you. Back to Church is a great program. It just finished up. So uh, next year, if you haven't done it, do that. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I love Back to Church Sunday. Anyways, with the New Mover Program, we actually had partnered with that. And we did about 100 per month. And that's what most churches do, is they do about 100 per month. I recommend aiming for about 100 to 200 per month, depending on what your, uh, your budget is. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to follow up. I asked my team this week, I said, I'm going to be doing this webinar. What do you want me to explain, or what do you want me to make sure that everybody is knowing and knows about this? And they all said the same thing, follow up which is exactly what Jason was talking about with follow-up. Now, there's plenty of ways to do follow-up. There's a lot of great ideas that were out there. Uh, there's churches that actually, they get their team together, they get uh, some of the seniors or some of the ladies to actually make cookies. And they go around house to house because you have the list of names and addresses of everybody we sent to. So those of them that are non-solicited, that are just regular homes, you can go door to door and you can knock on the door and say, hey, we sent you a postcard this week. I understand you probably received in the last two weeks or so. We wanted to follow up with that invitation with some cookies and you can of course make gluten-free cookies you can make uh, you can bring sugar-free candies you can bring a cup with uh, maybe some hot cocoa in it and you can say we came we wanted to invite you to church uh, if you haven't come yet and of course on that gift uh, on that uh, new mover card there is a gift card for the five dollars off uh, starbucks or coffee or whatever it is you want to do so there's lots of different ways to do that a lot of my churches will send another uh, a mailing like a newsletter like you were mentioning where they'll just send out uh, their monthly newsletter to the same homes uh, every month. Keep in mind, you do have that name and address list every month, and you get to keep that list. So every month you get to add up to 100, 200, however many new movers you do, you get to add that list to your, to your newsletter list. And you can send that out. Um, there's, there's just have several different ways. I know of a, one of my pastors. He actually has gifts at his church. So when you come in, you get a little mug with some candies in it and hot cocoa and thing like that, things like that. So there, there's lots of churches that are already utilizing these free gifts like we have with our New River Plus. But with this new $5 coffee card, it's that extra enhancement, which is going to be really, really good. Uh, just kind of following up and, and, and uh, going over a couple of things that you had mentioned, Jason. Mm -hmm. With this, with the new mover program, we can actually help you with follow-up. Let, let's say you don't have the team or the resources or the finances to really go follow-up. You don't have a team of people to go door-to-door. -door. You've got... 100 to 200 homes to go to, and you're just your your church schedule is packed. You just need help doing that. We can actually help you with that. We have a program called Multi Reach, where we can actually send out a postcard again a little bit later, and uh, it's a second invitation inviting them to your church. And we'll go over that here in a little bit. Uh, after I go through a couple of things, I'll just walk through how to sign up. How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys do that very often in these webinars, but I'll walk you through step by step how to do this and go over each kind of step in detail to really help you with it. And then I'm going to go through it one more time to show you how quick and easy it is to sign up for New Mover. So going off that two second rule that you were mentioning mm -hmm. before, that is you have to have it personalized. You have to have somebody's name on there. I recommend going with the last name just because there's some flexibility there uh, saying Smith family or Anderson family uh, because it, they may have put their official first name. Like let's say their first name is uh, Joseph and they don't like that. They prefer to be called Albert for whatever reason. <laughs> so when she, if you send out the postcard with the first name, it may be Joseph, and they see that, like, I don't like Joseph, I prefer to be called Albert. Ah. So it's best just to go by the last name, because pretty much everybody has the same last name in the, ha in the household. Um, with that two second card, um, just, I, ha I get postcards pretty regularly from my realtor 
and from my finance person. Mm -hmm. And it always has a gift on it. It has a, some sort of discount to the local steakhouse. This last month was a buy one, get one free massage. Okay? There you go. And the thing is, I got that gift. I saw that gift on there. It's sitting on my fridge. And I know, I know what the offer is. It's a buy one massage, get one massage, half off. I know we're churches where we may not be doing something like that. We're doing a $5 gift card. Mm -hmm. But still, having that gift on your card is really going to win people over. I still have that card on my fridge. So I know that if I need a finance person or I need to speak to my realtor, I know exactly where the phone number is. And I know how to get that. Plus, I'm going to take advantage of their offers every other month or so. It's pretty great. So sending out those postcards with that is key. And having their first name on there to catch that attention, having that $5 offer on there is really going to get their attention. And it speaks also into that long life shelf of these postcards. Okay, my, my finance person and my, uh, my realtor, I have a couple of their postcards on there, on my refrigerator. They've all expired, yes, but I still keep them on there just to remind me of some places that they've recommended. Like they recommended a steakhouse, so now I know I'm gonna go check out that steakhouse even though their offer's expired. So I keep it on there. Plus, on the, on the, with a lot of my churches that I've spoken with, they do have several stories where somebody brought in a postcard that was six, nine, 12 months old, and they're like, Oh man, we, we had this new mover and we were wondering if people were watching it or using it and now we see it really is paying off. The, the postcard has such a long lifespan to it. And even if you're not seeing responses in the first or second month, you could see some responses in the third or fourth month. And you can see responses a year later. So going through New Mover is going to be key for your church. It's a really super easy way, fun way to start a new ministry. Um, so just keep that in mind. So from here, I think we'll go ahead and switch over to how to set up New Mover, if that works for you. Oh, not yet. Okay, not yet. All right. Not yet. You got me on? Okay, guys. So here's the deal. Lots of great things, Matthew. And I know you're excited to show them exactly how simple this is because it really is simple. And that's why we have Matthew here because uh, he's a pro at setting churches up on this and helping them walk through it. Um, but before we jump too deeply into that, I want to talk about just a, a couple other things and highlight a couple things that Matthew said. So Matthew talked about the fact that we can help you as a church do follow-up. Now, uh, it doesn't mean that Matthew's going to show up in your town and go knocking on doors, although maybe you could make a deal with him. I don't know. He could work something out. Um, but he talked about this, this program we have, and we'll touch on it probably a little bit later, but where we'll do follow-up mailings for you. And a lot of churches do that because then you're reaching all of those new families, not just once, but you're reaching them again. And as Matthew was saying, uh, sometimes people don't just naturally get that, that card and then turn around, you know, as they've settled into their home, uh, you know, the first couple of months and just receive a card in the mail and then just head on out to church. Maybe it takes a, a couple months for them to do that. So uh, we have uh, some really cool ways that we can help you because again, that's what we're all about is helping you the local church. So I wanna talk, Matthew uh, alluded a little bit to this brand new um, program that we're rolling out. So we've had new mover program for, for many, many years. We have tons of churches that have been taking advantage of that and really seeing great effective things happening. So right now, um, we've got this New Mover program, New Mover Plus. New Mover Plus, this is a super cool thing. As we mentioned, one person joining your church pays for the program for a, an absolute year. This is the most advanced and effective New Mover program out there. Um, like I said, we have just improved that. That's why we've got New Mover Plus. Um, because there's a super cool thing that in getting feedback from all the churches we work with, um, you know, one of the things they were, they were trying to really figure out how, how are some ways, and we give them all these ideas, but then we realize, well, maybe we just need to step in and, and help them, you know, execute some of those ideas. And so that's what we've done with New Mover Plus. Now, it automatically mails every new mover in your selected areas, this postcard invitation uh, to your church, Plus, it provides your church with exclusive features to really reach more visitors and even track, because this is a big question, who is um, coming to your church from those mailings? Because that's a big question a lot of people ask, like, hey, we got these going out every single month. It's awesome. We know that you know we're getting exposure for our church. We know that we've got this list so we can follow up with them. But sometimes, you know, when people visit the church, when new guests come through your doors, um, we don't always ask them, hey, how did you hear about our church, right? And so uh, because we don't always ask that question, we wanted to help pastors better understand the effectiveness of this, this type of ministry and reaching your new neighbors. So um, we have this, this cool opportunity 
to really give you that. And we'll kind of walk through how that all works. So the first thing is that you get the New Mover Plus. Again, we've talked about the importance of this. Matthew reiterated it, personalizing the recipient's name. So it's gonna have the name personalized on the card as it goes to them. It's customized for your church. So many of our designs have a place where your church's name shows up on the front of the card. And so it really helps them see that. Or we have some designs where even like, it's a welcome to, for us, Colorado Springs, or welcome to your city and your church's name, kind of on the front of the card. So not only is it personalizing to the recipient, but it's also customized for your church. And then third thing is we get even deeper on that church customization because on the flip side of that card, um, really you can include all of your church information, a map, or our team will create a map to your church so they can see right where your church is, your logo can be included, all of your church information, your worship times, all that stuff. So this is really completely customized. So it's personalized for the recipient, it's completely customized for your church. So you can have the best connection possible with these new families. And then as we mentioned, you get that monthly list of names that you can use in a variety of ways to launch a new ministry, to reach new families and uh, to follow up with them. And then the bonus with New Mover Plus is we have uh, kind of built in this um, on the cards themselves. And I'll show you in just a moment where you are offering this gift. Remember how we said those gifts are really important? You're offering a gift, a $5 gift card for coffee um, to those new people who come in with their card. So they literally carry their card into their church, they bring it in and they redeem that card for this $5 um, coffee gift card. And what we are doing right now for all the people who are uh, new to this whole New Mover idea, if you sign up for New Mover Plus um, as a new church engaging that program, we at Outreach, because we love you, we're gonna send you five free $5 uh, gift cards for coffee to kind of jumpstart you. So we're making it super easy on you. We're even giving you the free gifts that you can give to the first five families that come through your door. And then after that, um, you can continue to buy uh, coffee gift cards in, in your community. And maybe you have a local coffee house, you know, maybe you can team up with them. Um, I know as a pastor, I used to team up with lots of different local um, restaurants or, or companies in town. You can even maybe even work a deal with them. They might even say, hey, we'll give you, if, if you're mailing out and you're trying to reach new families, guess what? We'll give you um, free five heart gift cards as a gift just for them to be able to connect as well. So you never know. So you might want to have those conversations or you can go pick them up. Um, you can pick up, you know, Starbucks or Dutch Bros or wherever pretty much anywhere. So, um, but you can just kind of keep that going, but we want to help jumpstart you and, and, and say, we love you guys. We're here for you. We want to really get this rolling. So, um, just again, the, you get these, uh, five free gift cards from us. Whenever you start everything up, you give those to them and right there on the slide, if you can see it, um, it's got this free gift for you. Bring this card in, get a $5 coffee gift card, you know, on us. It's just your gift to those people who are coming through the door. So super cool, super excited. Um, Our team's put a lot of of, um, thinking and praying and and work into this. We're excited to really launch it for you. We created this to work for your church. And that's what, this is why I love outreach. Everything we do here is to equip churches. That's that's what we do. And so uh, we pray about things, we think about things, we get together in rooms and, and, and discuss things and talk through things. We get tons of feedback from churches just like yours. Uh, through Matthew and the other outreach specialists who are talking directly to you. And so we get to hear a lot of what's going on and then we get to sit around and pray and think and dream about how can we help um, the local church reach more people, make more disciples, right? So um, we created this to work for your church. Again, you send that custom postcard invitation, automatically goes out to those new families every single month. Um, you don't even have to think about it, it just happens for you. We do this on your behalf. So. Once you set it up, you're getting them every month and it's super budget friendly. We've talked a lot about stewardship is important to us. So 79 cents um, per card based on uh, the nonprofit mailing rate, right? right. So uh, which is, most churches are set up with that. And if you're not, Matthew and the team can get you set up with that. Um, super easy, super quick t- process. They just talk with you, get some information. Uh, we have to work with the government, so it takes a little bit of time maybe, yeah. you know, to, to work with the government. But anyways, we can get you set up absolutely free um, to help you guys out. But 79 cents, and, and that includes, that's postage, printing, the personalization, that's everything. 
So as Matthew was saying, he recommends his churches to, you know, if, if you're in an area where you have the, the movers, um, 100, between 100 and 200 maybe families or individuals who move in every single month, think that's you connecting with that many families, new families every single month. You're pulling those families into your database, you're following up with them, you're praying for them, and it's so inexpensive. I mean, if you think about it, 79 cents per, you know, 100, you're looking, you're looking at 79 bucks a month. I mean, we, we can think of a way to, to fit this in the budget. And, and let me just give you a little pointer. Probably pastors, you all been in this position yourselves or, or maybe gone down this road, but as a pastor, oftentimes whenever we were looking at launching some new ministries. They're really connecting with people. Um, I, I would share that with, with our people. I would let them know this is something that we, we believe in. And even if it's not in the annual budget yet, um, you share this with some people in your church and you're gonna have some people say 80 bucks a month, you know, 20 bucks a, a week and we can reach 100 new families every month. Let's do it. I, I, will, I will give an extra $20 a week to see this launched, right? Or maybe four people, uh, you give an extra five bucks a week just to see this launch. So I want you to always be thinking of that, of how to, how to include your people, not just be asking them for money, but help casting that vision that we have an opportunity here in our city, in our community, to reach all these new families who are moving in. And, and this is just like an awesome opportunity that God is giving us an open door to new families, right? And so how can you include your people to say, you know what, I wanna help champion this. I believe in this as a ministry. I believe that our church, God put us here in this unique place at this unique time to reach those people who are gonna be showing up in our community, right? And so, man, cast that vision and invite people to come in and be a part of this. So just be thinking through that budget-friendly, great stewardship there. As we mentioned, professional designs, um, our team has put together to help capture people's attention. Uh, we have monthly reports for you, as we mentioned, and you can actually view these reports online. You can look at the actual maps of your new mover activity, um, even before you sign up. And, and Matthew's gonna, we'll dig into this a little bit more, but you can actually see like, you know, are there people moving into my community? Because some of us, we don't know, right? So you can actually go on and check that out before you ever sign up. So super cool. And then like we said, you're gonna receive um, those reports every single month with all those families for you to reach out to and connect with. Um, good stewardship again, not only is it um, budget friendly, but as we mentioned, uh, one new average giver um, over the course of a year pays for it completely. So um, custom dashboard, we have this new management dashboard. It helps you to, to view uh, your reports. You can update selections online. It's really, really cool. Again, trying to make it simple and easy for our churches. Uh, targeted area selection, we're gonna get into this and show you exactly what that looks like, but you can actually pick out the specific areas as to where you want to mail, which is super cool. Um, personalized postcards, we've talked about that, and then these additional options, which are you know the, the follow-up, so we kind of do the follow-up for you. We mail not just once, but then we mail again. Was it a couple weeks later? Yep. Yep, a couple weeks later, we mail again. Um, so they get two, two connections with your church there within that month, and then there's a whole jump start. Mm -hmm. So, and the jump start's cool, because if you're just starting this out, jump start, is, instead of just, just mailing those new families that come in that first month, it actually goes back a couple months, and you can pick up and mail families that have, have moved in over the last few months into your area. So that's huge. So your initial mailing could, instead of just 100, you could reach 300 new families just, just out of the gate. So super, super cool stuff. As we said, set up a simple, you can reach your neighbors and start reaching them today by joining this program. So now what we're gonna do, Matthew's been waiting for this, we're gonna jump over and switch over to um, the actual website um, that you can walk through. Um, outreach.com slash new movers and Matthew is going to walk you through this and help you see exactly how uh, how simple it is to, to, to use and and how it kind of there's certain things that you can really customize about it like the map and all that fun stuff so Matthew it's all yours brother all right so now we get to do the exciting part first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and spend some time really showing you the details of what each page does it'll take just about five or ten minutes though I'll just go through for the full details. Keep in mind, you may want to come back and see this webinar later. We're about 45 minutes in, so that way if you go back to the webinar, I can jump to about 45 minutes to re-watch this portion again. I know that my team is watching this. They really wanted me to go through this, so they may be referring this to you in the future. If you do contact your dedicated outreach specialist, they may show you this webinar and this specific portion. So basically what you do is you go to outreach.com newmover. This brings you to our new mover page, 
and there's lots of different options here on the new mover page. It tells you all the features, shows you how there's free name customization, there's $25 in free gift cards, targeting mailing, your free list of recipients. It also goes through all the different features. So if you want to review this again with your board or your team and go over these details again, you can. It does show you some of our design options and things like that. And then it does give you some stats on here. And of course, there's some feedback on here as well as some frequently asked questions. So if you are wondering if there are some questions, you can always just go to outreach.com slash new mover and take a look at some of those uh, frequently asked questions to see if those, are, those might answer some of the questions you have. Anyways, getting started, it's really, really simple. All you do is you type in your church's address. So for us, we're here at 5550 Tech Center Drive. As you start typing in your address, it automatically shows you all the different address options. And you can actually select your address right from the dropdown. So you just click on it and it'll automatically start loading up the map for your area. It'll also give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started and things like that. So you can read through this again later to see what's going on. But this mapping portion is basically, if you want to think of it, as the slowest part of the whole process. It's, it does load up and because it has to pull up a lot of information. But once it does load up, in the top right corner, there is a Select Region button. Once you click on that, your cursor will turn into a, uh, a, a kind of like a, an arrow where you can click and drag and create a radius around your church. So once we click on Select Radius, you see your cursor turns into a plus. You can either draw a circle right from where your church is outwards to as far as you want. Now you see as I'm clicking and dragging, it's showing in feet how far I can go. I can go up to one mile, I can go up to two miles, I can go as far as 15 miles. But I don't recommend going that far because you're going to have thousands of new movers. Uh, there are churches that do thousands of new movers every month, and if you want to do that, we can do that for you. But most churches usually want to target that one to 200 per month. So we're just going to go out about a mile from the church. From a, we're going to call us a church. And as you can see, it automatically pops up and gives you some more instructions. But what's really important is over here on the right side, it shows you your estimated monthly costs. So just a mile from where we're located, you can see there that there's an average. Uh, there's an estimated monthly average of 57 movers per month. There's a maximum of 84, and there's a minimum average of 34. So it comes out to the average of 57. So my cost would only be $45.03 if I wanted to do a one mile radius around my church. But let's say I can afford more than that and I wanna go further. I can click select region again and I can draw a bigger circle. So we do the exact same thing and let's go out to about two and a half miles. There we go, two and a half miles. And it'll automatically start generating the information. And you can see just in that small amount from one mile to two and a half miles, it jumps from that 57 average to 345 average movers per month. So you can see that there's several different options there. And let's say it's too big and you just want to only do two miles. So you just hit reset and select region. And let's go out to just two miles or a little less. There we go. So now we're at 240 movers. Price is at $189.60 a month. That's perfectly within my $200 a month budget, let's say. So this shows you all the details on the map. And of course, you can turn these routes on and off. So let's say you want to select one neighborhood. Or you don't want to select another neighborhood. You can do that. Or let's say you want to choose this neighborhood over here, but you also have a second or third campus, and it's over here at this intersection. You can actually draw a second circle, and it'll select that different <laughs> area. And let's say your third campus is somewhere over here in this part of town. So you just draw a circle there, and now you have three locations on your map, and all three campuses are covered. So we have this great program designed for all of your needs. All right, so let's say this is perfect. You spent the time on this map. Like I said, this map is the, further, the longest part of the whole project because you really want to fine tune this to what you want. Once you have it set up, you just hit next step and this takes you on to our cap. Let's say you had, do have a budget of, well, let's say $300 per month, right? So with this, you can actually put a limit on here and let's say you want to set your cap to, let's say 325. Uh, let's see, that's 325. There we go. And now it does limit my price to 256. And of course you can adjust that a little bit to 350 or whatever budget or cap that you need to. It's based off of how many postcards you send out and that's what you set your cap to and you just keep adjusting it until you get to just the number you need to match the price. As you're updating the cap, you'll notice your price on the right side gets adjusted and you just keep fine tuning that until you get exactly what you need 
Perfect. So with, like I said, my budget is $300 a month. So my cap is $375. So my total price is $296.25. This program is great and perfect for exactly what you need. And you do see there your price for nonprofit versus standard postage. And uh, Jason did mention this, nonprofit versus standard postage. Most churches could qualify for nonprofit. And if you don't have nonprofit authorization, just contact your dedicated outreach specialist and we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process to do that. It's a free app application we handle everything the only delay is having to wait on the post office and the federal government to get caught up on that but once you have your cap set up there uh, let's say and you can see there too is that as your size if you're trying to put a if you try to select a really large region and you try to put a cap that's ridiculously small let's say you select a 15 mile radius and you only want to limit to a hundred our system will actually give you an error down here saying that your size is too small so you just continue adjusting your cap or you go back you can hit previous and adjust your map to whatever fits best for you guys and then you just go to next step and this is the multi-reach program. This is the program I was telling you about. You have to follow up on, uh, on your new mover program because uh, most people take three to seven touches or contacts before they actually will visit your church. So if you're only sending out one postcard, that's one of that three to seven touches. You need to find a way to get to that three minimum or at least a seven touches to really see a result from this. So if you do one postcard, that's one. We can actually do multi-reach for you. We resend out another postcard several months later, or I'm sorry, several weeks later, uh, within the same month, to uh, invite them again to your church. And you can actually do a new design, or you can use the exact same design. So I recommend doing multi-touch, uh, multi-reach, especially if, you're, if your uh, manpower is down or you don't have the time to go door to door, or let's say you're targeting an area that you know is rich in apartments and no solicit area so you really can't visit then I highly recommend doing multi-reach so multi-reach will if you select better then that will automatically set up a second postcard each month and you'll see your price there on the right actually does update as well so it automatically basically sends out a second postcard, so it is going to double your price each month. So if you do need to go back and make sure you're, you're within your budget, you can go back to previous, previous steps, back to the map, and reduce the map down a little bit to get to that budget that you're trying to target. But if you're happy with the, the map and you just want to send out a second postcard, and you're just going to talk to the board and, and convince them to just go ahead and double the, the budget each month, you can do that as well. So you just select better, and that'll select your multi-reach, and I'll send out a second postcard just a few weeks later and then you continue on to next steps now this is jumpstart this is what jason was talking about with jumpstart jumpstart is amazing especially right now it's september we're getting into october getting into late fall starting to start think about christmas um, you may think oh no we've missed the summer rush because most people are moving during the summer however with jumpstart we actually meet the need for that so if you select Jumpstart, it'll actually show you how far back you can go. Right now it's September, we can go as far back as March. So we can select all the new movers from August, July, June, May, April, and March. That is insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's say you missed, you, you feel like you missed the boat. You actually didn't miss the boat. You can actually include this. Let's say you only want to target uh, the, the summer months. So August, July, and June. You go back three months, It'll actually, you still use your map for the areas you selected. It'll still use your cap. So it'll only send out however many you set your cap to. And with multi-reach, it'll send out two postcards to those people in that first month. So that first month is going to be much bigger than the following months. But you're going back and you're hitting all these other new movers that you thought you missed, but you didn't because new mover program is awesome like that. <laughs> So you just select, we'll say June, so that way we're targeting, of course, people from September, August, July, and June automatically. And we go to next step, which takes us to our designs. Now from here, you have all the designs. Uh, just uh, You saw a few that Jason showed you, but you have all these different design options. I recommend choosing one where the last name is, uh, is really specified versus a first name. But if you want to do first name, that is totally fine as well. I recommend ones to say like Smith Family or something like that. So you just pick the design you want. If you wanted to upload your own 
print ready artwork that is available at the very very bottom you can select new customer supplied art and you submit your own print ready artwork you can actually specify on your own print ready artwork what personalization you want whether you want first name or last name and our design team will make it work or let's say you don't like any of our designs you really are just very particular for what you want that's fine we can do that for you too you tell us uh, basically just select the full customize option and you tell our design team what design you want on the background you submit your pictures to us you tell us how you want it to look and feel and we'll design it for you so we have that option for you as well so with this i'm just actually going to go ahead and pick a random one of our good designs i personally like one of these cookie ones here so we're going to do this <laughs> And so the first month, we're going to do cookies, because I like cookies. But the second month, let's say, let's do the other cookie one. Haha, <laughs> yes. So first month is one cookie, second month is a different cookie. Still has the same kind of feel and design to it. Um, they're both getting cookies, so hopefully when they come to the church, they're thinking cookies. So hopefully I can convince some people in the church to have some fresh cookies at the Welcome Center for guests. And of course, they're going to get that free uh, gift card. So that free gift card can go along with cookies. Uh, I'm, it's getting close to lunch. I think you can see it's starting <laughs> to affect me here. <laughs> but you select the designs you want. And once you're ready, you just click Next Step. And this will show you the total review. Now, of course, keep in mind, I went gangbusters here and selected a huge radius and chose a ma huge maximum just because I was showing you an example. But you can make this fit exactly the way you want. And it shows you here the amount due today. There is a setup fee of $79 if you're going to do one postcard and just $29.95 more to send out a second postcard. So the amount due today is just $109.90. That would be it for it. And then once we do send out the postcards, then you do just, uh, you just pay whatever you selected for the postcards for that month. So you'll see here the amount due today, your estimated monthly cost. You see you have your cap, you have multi-reach, you have jumpstart. That's it. And you just add to cart. And once it's added to your cart, you just do a regular checkout. Just like as if you had ordered invite cards, door hangers, banners, anything like that. It's just sitting in your shopping cart ready for you to check out. So, like I said, it's, that was a kind of a longer process going over all the details and the steps. But let me show you how quickly it is to set up a new mover program one more kind of time. So if you're at Outreach.com, you just go to Postcards and you go to New Mover Outreach Program. Keep an eye on my clock here and watch how quickly I can do this. 5550, Tech Center Drive. I've already talked to my board. I already know I want to do about a one and a half mile radius around my church because we're just one campus. So we're going to go ahead and select region, have that plus sign. Let's go out one and a half miles. Perfect. Yep, I've already looked through this, so we're going to go ahead and see our price is $95.59. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and select multi-reach because I've already talked to the, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to go ahead and put a cap on here. We're going to set our cap to, uh, let's say, 150 We don't want to one month to go off too bad, even though it looks like that's still within our radius. So we'll say a cap of 150 just to be on the safe side. And then we talk to the board. The board is good with us going ahead and doing multi-reach. So outreach takes care of our follow-up for us. So that way we can focus on other things and other ministries. And then jumpstart. I know it's, it's September, coming up in October. I got onto this a little late. Let's go ahead and jump back and say we uh, want to cover June. So we're going to do September, August, July, and June. The board is good with that. My team's good with covering uh, and sending out that many. So we'll go ahead and do next step. I already know that we want to do the cookie one. Let's do this first one for the first postcard. Perfect. And then the other cookies for the second card. Perfect. And then next step, the price looks good. I did talk to the board. We are good with the $109.90 each uh, for the first setup. And we're good with $200, up to $200 a month on this. And set up for that estimated price. Perfect. I see we have the cap. We have multi-reach. And I do understand with Jumpstart, it's going to be multiplying that 190, 118 divided by, or multiplied by the three months, so 652. We got that set up and ready in the budget and ready to go. We're excited about reaching these people. So we add the cart, it adds the cart, and now we're ready to check out. You see how quick and easy that was? New Mover is super easy. And of course, you can always come back to this webinar and re-review this portion so you can understand all the steps and processes. But it's super easy to set up. And of course, you do, when you sign up for this, you get five free $5 gift cards to jumpstart you. And when, if you do run out of those five, you can go to a local uh, coffee shop, uh, whether it's Dutch Bros, uh, Starbucks.
Starbucks or Wayways or whatever kind of cool local place you have and just uh, choose the cards you want. So what do you think about that, Jason? I think that's awesome. Okay, so we have a little bit of time. Thank you for taking us through that. Again, the offer is on the screen there if you can see that, outreach.com slash new mover. Um, you can go and jump on and actually get a feel for it and look and see how many movers because we have some questions that have come through. One of the big questions that came through regularly was, you know, I'm in a small community. I don't think we have that many people moving. Uh, we get those questions a lot. I'm good. We get those questions a lot and whenever those questions are asked, what I encourage people to do is jump on and take a peek because sometimes you're surprised at the number of people actually moving around in your community. Now, one of the cool things is if people move within a zip code, we do not mail them on your behalf. Right. Because that could just be someone moving, you know, from an apartment to, to a new house, you know, someone who's already in the neighborhood. So we really focus on, you know, our, our hope is that we're really connecting with people who are new, new to your community. So, um, but anyway, if you're in a smaller um, area, guess what? You can adjust that down. So go ahead, I encourage you to jump on, take a peek, see how many families are moving in your area, and think about the reach of your church. Uh, many uh, pastors I, I work with uh, that, that pastor a rural church, they have people actually drive in quite a distance to their church because it's a rural community. So you wanna think about you know, stretching out uh, for you in, in those rural areas, maybe you stretch out that, that circle, that area, and take a peek at um, how many people are really moving around. Uh, one of the other questions that was asked, and a great question was, um, can you talk through that pricing again? Because what if there aren't 100 people? What if we can't mail 100 people? Um, 100 is just a suggestion. It's 79 cents per household. So, and again, that includes the postage that has to be paid to um, the USPS, right? So the postage is included in that. That includes the, the printing of the cards. We, in, in our um, print facilities here, we print the cards. Um, we personalize them, we get the postage on them, we customize them with your information from your church. All of that is inclusive, 79 cents per family. So again, if you're reaching 100 families a month, it's $79 a month. If you're mailing less, it's less. As, as we saw in the example, if you mail more, it's more. And it's, it gives you the opportunity because a lot, of, a lot of people have said, hey, we're a smaller church, we can't really afford direct mail. The truth of the matter is, uh, you can, you, you can afford direct mail and you can make this fit your budget. And again, I wanna, I wanna encourage you to really be thinking about how can you challenge people within your small church to be thinking outside your doors. This is one of the biggest things that we do here, um, like through Back to Church Sunday, as, as Matthew mentioned, we just came through Back to Church Sunday and all of the different ministry initiatives that we have is we're trying to help you as pastors and ministry leaders mobilize your people to be thinking um, Great Commission. Because that's really what it's all about, right? How, how, how do we participate in the Great Commission? And so whenever you as a church say, you know, this is important to us, this is a value to us, we are going to, we want to reach, you know, 70 new families every month or whatever the number is. And you put that in front of your people and you share with them, it's very inexpensive to do. Can you be praying about our, how you can be engaged in helping us reach these 70 new families? I've had lots of pastors who, who put together um, opportunities like this and it's amazing to see how people step up or how God lays it on their heart that yes, we want to be a church for others. We wanna be a church that's reaching people in our community. So um, I encourage you, you can do uh, direct mail for your church uh, regardless of the budget and the new mover plus program is like one of the, the easiest ways to do that. So um, we had some questions about Canada. Yep. So. With Canada, we actually don't have uh, it available for Canada yet, but continue sending us feedback, telling us that you want us to do that because I know we're trying to get into Canada and uh, we're, if there's more people giving us feedback that you want us in Canada, it's going to light a fire under certain people's uh, seat to really in move us into Canada. Trust me, I've been pushing Canada for a while and I know we're getting there, but we're not there yet. But if more people are telling us they need us in Canada, it'll encourage some several people to do that. Also, I saw in here that there were some questions, where do we get our data from? And I knew you were going to ask that, and I was gonna mention that, and I completely missed it. So where we get our data from, we pull our information from property titles and deeds, utility company hookups, magazine changes of address, and name, uh, name uh, new mover, uh, basically, uh, oh, what's it called? NCOA, name change of address. 
So uh, we get all that data. We actually work with the company that pulls all that data and then it compares all the data to, to whittle it down to the right names and then it submits that list and that's what you get. There are of course going to be a few minor uh, false positives, but that is not a concern. Here's the thing. If you go to somebody's house and they say, oh, we've been living here for two or three months, we're not new movers, something like that, it's, that doesn't matter, okay? You, got, you send a postcard to this home inviting them to your church. You're at their door. Don't apologize for the invitation. Say, hey, that's great. I'm glad you've been in the neighborhood. I apologize maybe for not coming to your door beforehand. I want to invite you to our church. We're having service this Sunday at blah, blah, blah time. I would love to see you there. When you come in, we'll have your $5 gift card available for you. So make sure you're doing that. Excellent. Good stuff. And, and on that, the Canada thing, obviously, um, because postage, the whole postage system is different in Canada. That's why it's not super easy for us to, you know, just translate this over. Um, but, but as Matthew said, um, for our Canadian churches, let us know that this is something you'd be interested in. Um, and we can continue to dig in and see how we can potentially make that possible. Um, for all of our friends north of the border. So great stuff. So Ben, some great questions coming in. If, if we did not answer your question, we encourage you to um, send us uh, an email. Uh, you will begin an email again with a link to this webinar so you can share it with your board or your elders or your ministry team, your key leaders, and let them get a feel for what this is all about. Um, so you can reply to that email. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Or you can always just jump on to outreach.com and there's a, a chat feature there and you can just chat up whoever whoever's there from our team yeah. and they'd be happy to help you uh, as well. Just uh, when you get onto that chat, just let them know Matthew sent you so that way they know. Uh, just a just little fun little inside joke with us over in our group, our uh, dedicated outreach special. <laughs> say, Matthew sent me over to ask you a question. There you go. Awesome. So I want to encourage you. We're wrapping up. We want to respect your time, but we want to encourage you guys to jump on outreach.com slash new mover. Don't forget new mover plus. It gives you that extra bonus where you are actually offering that gift to every person who comes to your church and visits. And we are giving you a jump start by providing five free $5 coffee gift cards. Now I did say I was going to give away some free gift cards to people here on this webinar. So those of you who stuck it out, we are going to do some random drawings and we are going to pull out some names and we will send those cards to you. We'll also announce those winners on our Facebook page. So be sure to check us out on Facebook and uh, we just appreciate you taking the time and being here with us today. So thank you, Matthew, for hanging out. And thank you, pastors. We love you. We're praying for you every day. Appreciate all the work you're doing for the kingdom. And any way we can support you, we're here for you. So God bless you all. Thank you.